Hey guys, this is I Alligator here. In this video, I will show you how to control your iPad Touch from your computer. So you will need to jailbreak your iPad Touch for that, or your iPhone. Doesn't matter. Your iPad Touch or iPhone. So what yeah, you would have to do first on your iPad Touch. Okay, I'm not gonna touch my iPad Touch. I can just control it from computer as you can see because they already got everything done so it's actually good for making videos too oh as you just guys saw my home menu I just got a background let me show you guys ah now it's stuck here wait I just have to press the home button from my computer oh yeah so as you guys can see I got the Mac wallpaper on my iPod which I just got Venture Spring here. I mean Venture Boards, not Venture Spring. And then that lets you change your background if you have already jailbroken your iPod. If you haven't, just don't worry, you won't need to jailbreak it. But you will have to wait till November 5th, 2008. Because there's an update coming out for the for iPod Touch and iPhone from Apple so then you can like uh, have backgrounds on your iPod or iPhone so that update is going to be cool it's actually going to have a new mail mail setup so you can add hotmail to your iPod touch too so let's get back to the topic so you would have to go to studio on your iPod I'm just gonna wait for it to load again. Then you would just have to go to search. And I'm just using my computer keyboard to type in my iPad Touch. And you guys, I'm just charging my iPad Touch. You won't need to plug your iPad in. It works over Wi-Fi. So I'm just gonna type in the app name. It's spelled V. E E N C. So here it is. Reinc. Just gonna tap on it, and then you would have to install this app. And then after you install this app, one second. Um. Ah. Uh, on your computer. Mm. So, on your computer here, you would have to go to your browser, go to Real VNC.com. So, you can find that link in the description box. It's right here, realvnc.com. And then you would have to go to full versions and demos. And scroll down and then go download and use. You can just skip this part, toss it to download. And then for Mac, you can use the. I don't think it has it for Mac. Oh, this is just for Windows. So you would just have to download either the executable file or the zip file. So, and then if you have the usually WinRAR the zip files so you can unzip them if you don't just download the executable file and then after you get that you would just have to go and install the uh, app that you just got you can just install it continue and then next I accept the agreement next yeah so you would have to VNC server and the VNC viewer. Well, you would need the VNC server in future. So why bother? Just download it. So install both. Real VNC next. These are the icons. This is create a VNC viewer desktop icon. Create a VNC viewer quick watch icon. So. Uh, yeah, you just have to click next and it will install it. Yes. And then 
when you're done installing it, you guys just have to go next, next, next. It's pretty easy. And then you would have to go to start menu and search for VNC viewer. You all computers, even XP has search. Oh, even XP has search. So you can just go to computer, probably have something search right here. Or you would just probably get a desktop icon so you won't have to search for it. So right here in VNC Viewer, it says connection details. In server, you would have to type in your iPod Touches. Uh, Wi-Fi address. So you just have to go to your settings, Wi-Fi. And then... You just have to go to the network that you're connected to. Tap on the blue one, blue button right there. And then here's the IP address. It says that IP address. You guys can't probably see mine, but if you can, yeah, have fun looking at my IP address. Because I don't care. You can't do anything. It's as soon as you just connect to an, another IP address. You're just going to not be able to do anything with my IP address. So, once you get the IP address, you would have to type it in the server right here. I'm just going to type mine in. Oops. Oh, yeah. Mine's is down here. I'm just going to type it in. So, that's my IP address. I just got an email. Stupid. I know I can turn that beep off, but yeah. And then... Press OK, and then on your iPod Touch, you would get a removed access request. On your iPod Touch, you would get a removed access request. You would just have to ex accept that, and as you guys can see, as I accept it, my iPod Touch screen just pops up on my computer. So now, I can control my iPod Touch. I can control my iPod Touch from my computer. Oh. So, controls, right click is home button. Ah. Home. Right click is home. So, I just turned my iPod touch. And then, sleep button is the middle click. You would just have to click on your scroller. So, that is the sleep. And then, touch screen is just like you would just have to hold the click down and drag and drop it right here. And then just unlock my iPod. The screen depends on your uh, Wi-Fi network speed. So mine's kind of fast. So as you guys can see, I can go through everything on my iPod. I'm looking through my apps. But the bad thing about it, it won't work in landscape. If you open a game, in landscape, it would just be funny on your computer because it will. Let's try fire mail here. Fire mail, and then just launch the fire mail. As you guys can see, it's like you would just have to turn your head, it will turn around by itself. So, home button, right click, and that was pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching my video i just got another email so thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe and see you later guys